Hi guys, Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. Um, still a little bit of a mess. I worked a lot on the binder this week. There's my little machine for labels. Works good. Had to go buy a ribbon. Ran out. 28 bucks. So, yeah, it's worth it though. Does a good job. And this is my... I took all of them out, not all of them, and I'm keeping them, reverse them, and put whatever coins you think people will never want to take out of there anyway, so that's what uh, I kept them on my dimes, my silver dimes, I use those cardboard sleeves, you'll see, I'll do a quick go over in there, I'll show you a little bit what I did this week. And Darlene's little thing keeps falling down. There we go. Ta-ta. The car show uh, is going to come next week. I'll put the lights on here. And yes, look at this. Finish this. That's what I meant by putting CDs in between. Looks better. Not sure what to put in there yet, so I put the nice coins on top. Cool relics right there. Got way more, but I don't want to load it up so it looks uh, messy. There are my horse and my moorings. And over here, next week I'll do a car show. And I'll get you to choose three of your favorite cars. And I'll uh, take the best ones and I'll put them up here. Here's my cedar side. Anyway, that's cool. I'll shut the lights back a bit. And we'll just browse. I'll show you what I did in here. Not sure where did I put this. Anyway, let's put it right there. As you can see, it's a Volkswagen binder that I got at work. When I used to work and live there, I'm glad that story is over anyway I put the white sheet in between looks better when you look at it like this so just a quick go over I won't pull anything out right now unless you'd like me to leave a comment and next weekend I'll do it so yeah there's my oldest readable coin KG3, 1772, Eagle Token, look at the dates, 1815, 1816, two Brock Tokens, 1816, made that three Brock Tokens, wow, Ship Token, Joe would love these, but no, Joe, you won enough giveaways, he uh, received those mail and he's gonna do a giveaway video soon so it should be a good watch this is the one with the bottom anyway i'll go through these later in detail that's a kj one or two that i can't read okay so I'll put the divider this is what i mean with my dimes dimes you really don't want to Take him out, look at him. A dime is a dime after you've seen a few. But... And the empty space right there, that's because I'm missing that one. So that's a 1938. Three spaces here. A 49, 57, and 58 missing. And my fifth one missing is 63. These are all Canadian dimes, silver dimes. 68, there's a silver one. I got the macro dime, 1967. Anyway, I got a few doubles in here, but those are the ones I'm missing. Missing five dimes. That's, not, that's actually better than I thought. These are my quarters. I did these this morning after groceries. At the oldies on top, I only have five old ones, meaning a hundred years old and over. 1910, two 1910s, 1911, so three King Edward the Seventh, 
1817 to King George. That's why I'm uh, I got my Queen Victoria quarter on my bucket list because I haven't got one yet. These are my modern quarters. 42, 45, 49, 50, 59, 59, 60, 60, 61, 64, 66. There's a nice bobcat quarter. If you notice it's in really good shape. That's because I got it off a trade at work with the purse guy here. You might remember in the older videos. 68, and there's my half dollar. That one's almost worth the show. That's my 1950 key date, 50 cents Canadian with no lines in the zero. One of my favorite coins. I only dug one half dollar, so I still remember the sound it made when it fell from the side of the clump. Okay, there's my separator. So I started from the beginning, so you'll see it all. This is my large scent sheet. So I'm missing one for 20. I gave a few away. I gave a nice 19 while well, we were talking about trade with uh, Brad, my parts guy. And that's what I've. Uh, that was one of the trades for one of these, I think. Or a bigger trade, maybe the token. Anyway, I traded them in 1917. I'd love to have that one right now, but it was a good trade. I couldn't pass it up. He made me a good offer. So these are all my Canadian largies from 18. See, I got a few Victorias here. 1859, 1893, 1894, 1896. These are all King Edward the 10th, the 10th, the 7th. Five of them. No, that. So seven. No, six. There, I can't count anymore. So four Victorians. <clears throat> six Edwardians, I guess. And Georgians. Nine, I guess. So that's a nice little sheet right there. We'll scan over. I hope you can see okay. So yeah, it's frozen stiff outside. And you think it's not hard, but you go out and it's like cement. So yeah, I'm just getting over it. <clears throat> it's going to be a long winter, but looks like I got lots of work to keep me busy. So these are my colorized. I had more than I thought. I found uh, quite a bit in my bins. The blue ones are the rarest. Those are the whales. Bird. I only have one of those. This is the nice Clico there. That's how you say that in French. There's one like I gave Joel. I actually got another one. I'm happy. 1812. War of 1812. I got four. One's a double, but I'm missing one. Olympic hockey. Olympic Hockey, Cutlico, War Veterans, this one I only have one, they're rare, Pick to find, well, this is my second page, of color eye, but they're all uh, much the same, good shape, a bit worse, really bad, bad, but I keep them all. Breast cancer ones were the ones at the end. Here's my binder separator. Hey Liz, look, I found another one. I thought I only have needed one more. I needed two more, so I need one more. RCMP quarters. You can see the ones that were collected and the ones that were dug. These are all collected. Guess what this one is? Dug, dug. I like them dug better. Look at the nice tonage on this one. Woo! Dug, dug, dug. Found 
and I did my, I raided my sister's piggy bank. I did a coin roll, coin hunting in the piggy bank. Found one of them, so one more for 20. This is the, one of my favorite sheets, of course. All my fish scales are there. I think you've seen these last week. Well, uh, 19, 1890, Vicky, 1897, Vicky. Oh, yeah, remember I was talking about one I had that was mint. That's one of them right there. I could clean the black off, but just a little peek. Super sharp. Hope you can see the hair, if you will. Look at the hair on her head. Good cleaning and ta-da! Yeah, you can see all the hair, individual strains of the hair. Really good shape. Okay. So yeah, nine fish scales. I had three fish scales in four years, got six this year, yep, my dimes, pretty slick, probably my oldest, that's why I wrote 18 dot dot, 1882, this one's in great shape too, look at it, those, this one and that one, the fish scale are in great shape. So yeah, so these are the dimes. Dimes, I had three in four years in Kingston. Move here, got four in the spring pretty much. Yeah, nothing old here. There's the separator. This is my American sheet. That's another one I love. I think I showed you, but hey, I'll show you again. Look at that seated dime, eh? <coughs> a lot of you Americans told me you haven't found one of these yet. I'm not even sure how it sits. That goes there. Bucket lister. And I got my Mercury Dime this year. I got this one. The 1918. Love it. This is the one Stan gave me. Four Rosies. And yeah. I don't know. I can't dig a rosy. I didn't dig one rosy this year. I didn't dig. Look, there's no Washington quarter. In five years, I haven't dug a Washington silver quarter. What up? What up with that? But look at this nice war nickel. 1943. S mint. Here's the trime I won off uh, Charlie. I'm trying to remember the name. Risers. Metal Detecting Emporium, I think. Not sure. I'm sure. Sorry, Charlie, if I missed it up. This is my only Indian head. 1891. Can't really see it. I had two, as you know already, and I gave one to Darlene. There you see it. Upside down. Darlene's a great girl, so... I want her to have something in her findings pile. Okay, these are just like uh, a Canadian King George V small cent. That's what I call them. They come before uh, the last issues of uh, pennies, and they come right after the, our our large cents. So I got five, but I did find another one in there, and it's crusty. It's my first one, I think. But it might be my second, 1936. Because I thought I dug two. This one's in good shape. That one's in horrible shape, so I can't really give it to anybody. It's in really bad shape. I can hardly make it out. There's my separator. These are my nickels. Nickels. I find them hard to dig. These are my King George V nickels. Uh, it's a lovely coin. See that? Remember the first year I detected I dug one in uh, Odessa. At the fairgrounds. 
Okay, stalker, don't go over there and rig the grounds all over again. King George the fifth, see that? Cool. Eh? The other one's worth showing. Actually, it's worth taking out. It's this one. It's the Tom Back nah, Victory Quarter. Very nice. This one's beat up. So that's the nickels. Almost done, guys. Might as well show you everything. I'm gonna put, I'm not done yet. I got lots of medals and stuff like this. Like this one. 1939 Royal Visit. I think that was the first time ever they came over. I think this is King George. Queen Mary, I forget. Anyway, it's a nice, I think it's made of bronze. What's here? Uh, this is nothing special. Silver, no, 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 I wish there were silver dollars. They're dollar coins, Canadian. Confederation coins, like three, six bucks. With his mint loonies. I got the other ones in there somewhere. At one point, I was like weekly wins off of Liz in the beginning. And that's a nickel thing I was starting. Nothing special there, but this one's worth showing. Look at a nice tonnage on that. And another one. Okay, so next week we will be doing the car show. And I'll tell you right now, one of my favorite ones is this one. I love Malibu's. I went to my sister's uh, party last night. All my uncles came. We celebrated my mama too. So they always used to work on the Malibu's when I was a kid. They always had a Malibu in the, in the garage and restoring it. So that will be in the running next week for sure. So what I'll do, I'll go over what I had. All the cars. And I'll put my top three up. And I'll ask you to put your top three. Then I'll write it down, figure out which ones are the favorite. And I'll put it on the bottom shelf there. So I got these two trays. And the box. Box got quite a few cars in there. All dug. So, okay. That's it, guys. I'm going to watch a bit of football, I think. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll go like this. I'll show you this one again. That's beautiful. See, beautiful, sir? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. It'll be winter for quite a few months, so I'll find stuff to make movies with. Movies, more like a clip. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, and you know I love you all. And have yourselves a great week, and I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye for now.